Hello, I am Joana Colucci and this is a 5-minute farm doc daily about the war in Ukraine and its effects on fertilizer exports to Brazil and the United States. The Russian invasion of Ukraine has elevated the risk of disruption to the global fertilizer trade. Russia is the largest exporter of fertilizers in the world, accounting for 23% of ammonia exports, 14% of urea exports, 10% of phosphate exports, and 21% of potash exports. The United States, the European Union, and other nations have imposed economic sanctions on Russia, which could hinder its exports of natural gas, potash, and nitrogen. If Russia suspends exports of these products, a large portion of the global supply will be removed from the market. So, Brazil, which imports around 85% of its fertilizers, would feel more of the impact than the United States, which has a robust fertilizer industry. Brazil is the top importer of Russia fertilizers. Let's check out a breakdown of their imports. Brazil is the fourth largest fertilizer importer in the world and is responsible for 8% of global consumption. And, uh, and about a fifth of Brazilian imports come from Russia. Adding in fertilizer from Belarus rises the amount imported by Brazil to nearly 30%. The most significant dependence is on potash. Russia and Belarus account for 44% of the potash imported by Brazil. The country gets more, most of its potash from Canada. Brazil imports 95% of its nitrogen fertilizer needs, and Russia is the leading supplier, accounting for 21% of the amount imported, followed by China, Qatar, and Algeria. Brazil imports 75% of its phosphate needs, the lowest percentage of the three essential fertilizer components. The main supplier is Morocco, followed by Russia, Saudi Arabia, the United States, and China. The U.S. is the third largest fertilizer importer in the world and he is responsible for 10% of global consumption, behind China and India. Unlike Brazil, the United States has a robust fertilizer industry. However, it could still be affected by global supply and demand. In 2021, the U.S. imported about 93% of the potash needed for healthy crops. Canada provides 83% of the potash used in the United States. Russia and Belarus provide 12% used in the U.S. in 2021. Belarus is a red subject to European and U.S. sanctions restricting its potash exports. Together, Russia and Belarus control 40% of the potash supply in the world. The American dependence on nitrogen and phosphate imports is much smaller, 12% and 9% respectively. On March 2021, Brazil announced plans to support additional fertilizer production to address rising costs. The program aims to reduce Brazilian fertilizer imports from 85% to 45% by 20, 2050. The plan includes a new fiscal policy for the sector and provides support for private firms to expand fertilizer production capacity. In 2021, Brazil imported more than 41 million tons of fertilizers, a record 21% more than last year. The increase in consumption is mainly pushed by the growth of acreage over the last few years. Also in March, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced it would support additional fertilizer production for American farmers to address rising costs. 
This summer, the USDA will provide $250 million through a new grant program to support American fertilizer production. For more information about the war in Ukraine and its effects on fertilizer exports to Brazil and the US, you can read an article written by me, Gary Shinitki, and Karl Zulaf. A link is in the description of this video. See you next time!